Well, are you tired of the leftover Christmas ham? Maybe too many cookies still in the house because Santa didn't finish them. Well, then get all that out. Alex Brady of Caraba's Italian Grill and Mommy is whipping up something yummy for us via Skype this morning. Alex, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Can you guys hear me over there? Yes, I can hear you. And you know, I missed the time Perfect. where I would be smelling your cooking, perhaps in the studio and throughout the newsroom, but Skype yep. will have to do. So what are you cooking for us today? Yeah, so actually I'm making my favorite pasta dish here at Carrabba's. It's called Rigatoni Campagnolo. Campagnolo actually means country style because it's a chunkier sauce. That was actually told to me by our, one of our co-founders, Damian Mandola himself, when I met him about a year ago. Uh, so for time's sake here, I actually already started. So what I have is uh, you're going to get your favorite Italian sausage. You're going to kind of, you know, take some pieces and roll it into balls. It can be real rustic. You're going to saute it with some peppers, red peppers, some garlic and some onion. Okay. And then what we're going to do here, I'm actually going to deglaze the pan here with some white cooking wine. You can use your, you can also use your favorite white wine, or if you have like a leftover bottle that you just have like a cup left, that's all you need is about a cup. So I'm deglazing that pan. And again, this sauce is really, really simple. So anybody can make it from home. And we sell a lot of these here in the restaurant. So Especially what I'm going to do we're here. Looking at freshening our cooking for the new year. So it's glad that it, it's a good thing that it's simple to make. Simple, fresh, and really easy to make. So uh, what I'm going to do here, and I'm actually almost done with the sauce. That's how simple this is. You can use your favorite red sauce or your own from made scratch red sauce here. That's what we're doing here at this point. And I'm going to just put it in here. This is our Pomodoro sauce. And I'm going to let that simmer for just about a minute. <clears throat> and then we're going to use a rigatoni pasta. Rigatoni actually means ridges in Italian. And the reason the ridges are on there is to capture all the sauce. So we hand saute all of our pastas here at Carrabba's to make sure that you can have a wonderful, flavorful bite in every single bite that you take of our pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pasta and toss it into our sauce here. Mmm, looks good. I would do a, a nice big toss here for you, but I don't want to make a mess, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So here we go, and then I think everybody's favorite part, we're going to add some grated Parmesan cheese in here to kind of meld everything together. Ooh, that looks delicious, yeah. Yep. Well, and you know, Alex, so it's it's so interesting because I feel like so often when we get that Parmesan, it just, like you said, it brings all of the flavors together. So that's Bring, a simple ingredient to freshen up cooking in the new year if we wanted to try that a little bit more. Yeah, and we, you know, we use it on pretty much everything. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So now the most important part of this pasta dish uh, is definitely going to be the goat cheese that we're putting on top. And uh, you're just going to put it on top. This is what the goat cheese looks like. It's just in slices. You're gonna put it on top like this and then a little trade secret, and I tell this to everybody when we drop this dish off to their table, is you're gonna to wanna to mix that goat cheese in. It's gonna make that pasta really, really creamy and give it an excellent flavor. So that's why this is my favorite pasta dish. I have a finished product here for you as well. Oh, and I see And that's the uh, rigatoni campagnolo, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. if we're looking to recreate something like this at home. It's just a few ingredients. Can you briefly kind of yeah. say what some of the main ingredients were? So if someone back home is trying to take some notes, they can do that. Yeah, so real simple, Italian sausage. Um, it's going to be red bell peppers, a little bit of garlic and onion, and then you're going to use your favorite red sauce. And then you can use any pasta you want, but this definitely goes the best with some rigatoni. <clears throat> and Alex, what are some of you know your tips, just if we're looking really in the kitchen next year to try something new, what's a simple way that we can freshen up our cooking? You know what? Uh, fresh ingredients is the way to go. Go to a local market go to even your grocery store and just get fresh produce. You know, if you know, just practice making stuff from scratch. That's the best way to do it. That's what we do here. We make everything from scratch. You, you can't go wrong with that. It doesn't get any fresher than that. I have to agree, Alex. My mom cooked yeah. everything from scratch too, and there is nothing like it. I wish I could be there or you could be here so I could be smelling that. I am getting kind of hungry for Italian here at almost 10 in the morning. So thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for joining us today, Alex.